Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we're going to go over how to split curves in in Grasshopper using intersection points. And we're going to go over how to graft how to use the graph button, the finding intersections between curves um, button, the shatter button, and the containment button. And um, it's useful to know how to split a curve in Grasshopper because basically what we're doing is trimming the curve and it's useful to know that when we're doing multiple iterations instead of baking it, that particular iteration into Rhino and then manually trimming it by hand we can do all that in Grasshopper and it just saves a little bit more time um, at the end so to get started I'm just going to show you what this definition does is that it takes these curves and it gets trimmed or split by this bounding box and if I hide the objects this is our final final project basically just trimming or splitting the curve and deleting the outside and with it this, with this definition you can pick either keeping the outside or the inside based on what you guys what the definition calls for so new document and in Rhino I drew three splines and a bounding box and this bounding box could be a, a closed circle um, ellipse it doesn't matter as long as it's closed and for the sake of definition, I'm keeping it closed so that we can pick either the outside curves or the inside curves. But splitting the curve in Grasshopper, it doesn't have to be a closed curve. So to get started, we have to call these curves into Grasshopper. So two curve buttons found under the parameters under geometry. I'm just going to set multiple curves on the splines. And then the second curve button, I'm going to set the cutting object or the bounding box that we drew in Rhino. From there we need to find intersection points of all the intersections that where these curves are um, cross the bounding box. So that's under intersect, under physical, under curve, curve, right here. A calls for the first curve and then B calls for the second curve and it finds the intersections. Now to be careful we have to go back to parameters and take a panel and look at what it's asking. It's asking for the first curve and if we copy that, go on the second curve. So it's saying that these three curves are referenced to this bounding box and then found the intersections. But to be true, it's referencing all three of them at once with this bounding box what it really needs to do is that take each particular curve and analyze itself with the bounding box and you'll see why we need to do this um, later but I'm just going to tell you now that we're going to need um, under sets tree a graft button and this adds an extra extra data item to each of the items so if we add the graph button curve to D uh, under graft and connect that to a panel you can see that each of the curves is now referenced as its own group or data item and this gets linked into A. Now you don't see anything change yet but later down the road you'll see why we need to add this graph button. So I'm going to delete these panels. From here we can use the shatter button to shatter the curves based on these points. So go to Curve, go to Division, go to Shatter. C asks for the curves we want to shatter. And then T asks for the points on the curves that we want to shatter it with. So TA means that's the first curve the points is referencing to. And then TB is the points referencing to the second um, curve. So if you want to shatter the bounding box, we would use TB and reference the C to the, sh to the bounding box, but we want to shatter the interior, all these splines, so we're using TA. So that shatters it, but we can't tell um, any difference because it's referencing all the, the, the new curves now. So what we need to do is, if we only want to take the inside, we have to test, um, we have to basically pick anything that's inside the bounding box. I'm just going to turn off um, my layer real quick 
And then what we're going to do is go to Curve under Analysis, go to Containment. The Containment asks for points for an occlusion test, and the curve, like, it asks, like, this is the curve that it's referencing. And anything, any points that are inside this curve, it'll say either it's true or false. So first, these are the curves. And how we're going to get the interior of these points is we're just going to use an evaluate length. Attach the evaluate length um, curve to the shatters. And we're going to go to grab a number, set that to 0.5, which will then set that to L, which now finds the midpoint of every curve. I'm just going to hide the intersection points. So now you can see that along all the curves that we shattered, the, the points are now at the center of those lines. And those are the points that we're referencing to see if it's inside the boundary or outside the boundary. And we can go grab a panel and we can just link that in. So if you hover over the R, it says zero it's co coincident means it's landing right on the the um, reference curve, the test if it's inside or outside. One means it's inside and two means it's outside. So two, one, two, and you can see that it's saying it's um, telling each curve whether it's inside or outside relative to the bounding box. And then we need to basically split these two categories into two separate um, groups. So to do that, we're going to go to sets and use the dispatch under list, dispatch. And a dispatch P, it only takes in either true or false. So to take either one or two and make it true or false, we're going to go to math, grab a one function variable, plug the r into x, and the function is going to be x equals 1. So I'll copy this panel and zoom in. So every time it's uh, 2, it's going to be read as false, and every time it's going to be 1, it's going to be read as true. I'll plug that into P, and then take the curves that we shattered and link that into the list. And I'm going to unpreview that, the evaluate, and the shatter, and the graft. And I'm going to unpreview the curves. And we can unpreview the containment. And now if we grab a curve under parameters, under geometry, now A is all the curves that are inside, and B is all the curves on the outside. So the dispatch splits the two groups based on true and false into separate categories, and then you can call them out by using another curve um, button. So that's how you trim a curve or split a curve in Grasshopper. Now if we go back to the graft, and let's say we didn't have the graft, and if I were to plug that into A, first point of reference, it's still working because the shatter is connected to the graft. But if I were to plug that um, the curve into shatter now, you can see that it doesn't reference every line with the bounding box. So you can see that some are not split based on the intersections, even though there are intersections at those points. So it's just best to split the curves into each data item and have each data item referenced to the bounding box. And that would create, that would solve most of the problems. And that's how you, that's how you trim or split a curve in Grasshopper. And thanks for watching.